Hi there. Today I want to talk about the KIC 8462852. What is this? It's the name of a star. Uh, you may have heard about it these days. It's all on the news about the alien stuff. But let's uh, introduce you to the subject very briefly. Uh, Kepler has found in something very unusual on this star. Kepler discovers new planets uh, by measuring the light uh, that dims while a planet uh, crosses or between the telescope and the star. Uh, they know what is a light curve of a planet a light curve of an uh, asteroid, of a group of comets but uh, they don't know what is the light curve that they are uh, seeing while they look at the star there are two main possibilities uh, of course the mainstream is that is a swarm of comets but that is not proven yet they look at this star uh, since 2009 and now it came back to the news the other possibility that uh, some people are inventing that is a uh, uh, man-made or, or alien civil civilization made structure because of course uh, good sense People of good sense know that life may be out there. The existence of billions of planets that are similar to Earth and life could be uh, based on other patterns. But let's examine this. Uh, Shio Kaku uh, uh, owns uh, classified civilizations and type 1, type 2, type 3, type 0 are we that use fossil fuels, type 1 planetary, type 2 stellar civilization. They could harness the power of uh, stars. They, uh, of course, if he said that, he already may know something. Because years ago, uh, we saw on the news on photos of, of the SOHO uh, satellite huge circular objects that seem to steal energy from the sun and those experiences uh, could be the, uh, what I, they remember to, to tell us about the what uh, the theoretical physicist uh, Freeman Dyson uh, uh, proposed in 1960 that advanced civilizations could use uh, could build uh, structures to get energy from the sun it could be some kind of spheres that will surround the sun or obstruct the light and get its energy uh, for other purposes. It's called uh, the Dyson Sphere. And we could be seeing some of the similar structure uh, built by an advanced civilization. Now I will make a link that you may not have heard yet. Where is this star located? This star is located between Sinus and Lyra. Well, uh, now let me tell you about these constellations about some information received by contactees people that claim to have contacted uh, some groups of aliens the constellation of Lyra is the birth 
of the humanoid races on this part of the universe. First they were created in Lyra, they immigrated to other planets, uh, even to the Pleiades, and from the Pleiades they came to us. I will put some pictures here, but uh, quite similar to this new age stuff. They are used to represented by tall blondes, male and female, uh, but uh, according to these contactees, uh, they are they have all ethnies into them. They have darker ones with darker hair. They have head heads too. It's quite interesting that this mysterious structure is located uh, on this spot. Uh, where you can see, I uh, will put a link there, it's uh, the place of the birth of the humanoid races. All human-like ETs, according to contactees, have this birth, have its birth originated on the Lyra constellation. In a star in the Lyra constellation. The pieces are coming together. Thank you for watching. Let's keep an eye and ears on it. Bye.